The Saturn I and the Saturn V rocket were the legendary power lifters in the Apollo era. But hold up, I missed the Saturn II through IV. You're not imagining things. What happened to these rockets and why was there a large jump from the Saturn I to the Saturn V? This rarely asked question on the next Vintage Retrospect. Hello and welcome to Vintage Retrospect. I am your host Chad and this is my little corner of space nostalgia. As the early 1960s ramped up in the Gemini program, the Apollo program was building its foundation as the way forward to the moon. This meant that rockets had to be bigger and use better fuel mixtures to ensure that the first humans will be able to venture to the moon and return safely to Earth. These larger rockets started with the Saturn 1 rocket, which I have already talked about in this video right up here. The Saturn 1B rocket followed and was used to start testing actual Saturn 5 rocket stages. Well that sounds like there won't be a Saturn 2, right? Not exactly. This is where things get really weird. There actually was a Saturn 2 stage, which was the second stage of the Saturn 5 rocket. As confusing as that is, there was still a Saturn 2 in pre-development, which was basically a Saturn 5 without the S1 stage that had the 5 F1 engines. The problem with this Saturn 2 concept was the first stage, which had the 5, two, five J2 engines, but they couldn't effectively lift the vehicle at sea level since this stage was engineered for suborbital operation. So what North American, the contractor responsible for the development of the S2 Saturn V stage, or in this case, the Saturn II proper, planned to slap four solid boosters to overcome this ascent limitation. They even considered a more powerful engine, called the M1 engine, to lift the S2 and S4B stages together. By the way, the M1 was a larger upgraded F1 engine and that was intended to be used on the super heavy mega rocket, the Nova. More on that in a future episode. However, it would have been costly to iterate a Saturn 3 and 4. So it was a go big or go home with a Saturn 5. Saturn 1B testing had its own first stage, but its second stage was called the S4B, which then later became the third stage of the Saturn 5. It was never a fourth stage of anything, so this explains the missing Saturn 4. There never was a Saturn 3 stage, so the Apollo program outright decided to stick with the Saturns as a stage name rather than rocket names. This is convoluted and full of word salad, but I hope I haven't lost anybody. The Saturn V had three stages, with the first being called the S1C, the second stage called the S2, and the third called the S4B, but the third stage not being called S3. It's the exception to the rule. If you would like more detailed information on the Saturn V stages, head over to this recent video right up here that I did, which explains each stage and counts the number of engines on the rocket. By the way, I still will be creating a more holistic Saturn V video in the future, which digs more deeply about its history, unheard stories, and technical specs. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that one. Also, for more information on the Saturn V stage naming, you can head over to the historicspacecraft.com website, and I will post the link in the description. So, has your brain decided to crash out after hearing the stage names and why they don't make real world sense? Let me know down in the comments, and also like this episode so that others can feel your pain too. I'm your host, Chad, and I will see you out on the launch pad.